you got to tip your hat to Michigan. Um, you know, they battled back and um, um, got themselves two wins Saturday, Sunday, and uh, took the series on the road. Um, you know, we did some good things today. Uh, we got to pitch a lot better, um, and we got to play better defense. You know, I, I don't know exactly. Haven't had a chance to really total it up yet, but we gave away a lot of free baseball, whether it was errors or leadoff walks or, um, you know, just kind of non what, what we consider non-competitive pitches um, at times. And, and you're not going to do that when you play a good team like Michigan. And, and uh, you know, it, it, it bit us today. But, you know, there were some good things and some things that we can build on. And, um, you know, we're just we're going to have to go from there and get better. So yesterday, New Top shut you guys down offensively. And today, again, they're starting to pitch you a great job against you guys. How frustrating is that offensively after having a big output on Friday night? Well, you know, first of all, it's frustrating just because, like today, you know, I mean, again, you give that guy credit. You give Adcock credit. I mean, he really competed. And, but, you know, we had some opportunities where we swung at some pitches in, in hitters' counts, and if we take them, I, they're balls. And I think that changes the kind of the complex, you know, the uh, nature of that inning. And, and, you know, we can't let a good guy off the hook like that. You know, you got to – you know, I'll give you an example. James Coates today had two walks, you know, and, and if you look at the inning that we, uh, you know, scored, I think, our first run, Coates battles, 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 and he's not – he doesn't chase a, a bad pitch, he walks. And then that same inning, Nick Graham does the same thing, battle, battle, instead of chasing ball four, he takes it. Well, we had some opportunities where it was 2-0 and, and stuff like that, where if we do that, it's a different inning. Um, so that's the disappointing part. And – we have to have, you know, we struck out nine times. You can't do, you know, you got to you gotta make an adjustment during the game and, and, and battle. But they're, th those guys pitched well. I know you guys try not to, you know, uh, focus too much on errors and stuff like that. But how big of an impact did those a couple of costly errors have in the game? Yeah, I mean, you know, errors are part of the game, but, you know, they are. It's too much free baseball. You know, when you, um, you know, we, we, again, we only, I mean, I think we walked four. Um, I don't know how many we hit today. How many we hit today? Do we know? Uh, five. Two. But again, you got to look at when are they? You know, I mean, I think we walked the number nine and number eight hole hitter to lead off innings, and not that those guys are bad hitters, but you got to go after those guys. Um, and then, you know, we had an opportunity to get some outs that you just, you can't give away those opportunities, and you know, so you go back to when we play well, like the times when we play really well, we play we play clean baseball. We play, you know, we don't give away a lot. Of Right. You know, we uh, the biggest thing is is you know obviously we have to take tomorrow off. That's our off day, and then uh, you know we got to play. We're going to play Tuesday and Wednesday. So for us, our practice, the stuff we need to kind of work on work on offensively is going to be during pregame BP and all that. So we just again, I think it's the same thing. We got to come to the ballpark with the mindset that we're going to win, and which I did. I, I felt like we did that better this weekend. I really did. And then we got to play, you know, cleaner baseball um, and not give away the, the, the freebies and the walks and the non-competitive pitches and, and errors. Talk about some of the stuff. It's the attendance yesterday. There's a lot of fans. Awesome. Really think of it. Awesome. Um, you know, I've always felt, and this is one of the reasons why I really wanted this job. I really felt like, you know, if if we can continue to build this thing, and, and we've got an unbelievable facility, a beautiful day like today, and you got Mount Nittany in the backdrop, it's just uh, those are the type of crowds, and I can see it even getting bigger and bigger. I mean, I, I, I can tell you this, that, you know, my goal is to, for us to host a regional here one day, and I just think it would be an unbelievable atmosphere to do that.